We know one of the ripple effects of the pandemic is some couples having to postpone wedding plans until we're in a better place. Yeah, couples are frustrated, and so are the wedding venues. They say they're not getting the same treatment as other gathering places. Turning your side, Stephanie Harris joins us with a petition that's gaining traction, Steph. Anita Tom, the petition asking Governor Ralph Northam to reopen wedding and event venues has more than 2,000 signatures. And the woman who started it says, the industry is being decimated. Everything from the caterers to the photographers, DJs, and florists, and quite frankly, it doesn't seem fair. All dressed up, but no weddings to celebrate. We've had clients that have postponed three times already. Kelsey Leeper is the manager at the historic post office in downtown Hampton. Since the pandemic began, they've had more than 60 events postponed and more than 40 canceled. Um, we're not trying to have huge unruly gatherings. We simply want to, to be able to operate with more than 10 people. The 20,000 square foot venue has plenty of space for social distancing. She argues she wants to be afforded the same rules as restaurants and retail shops. We can require masks. We can regulate dance floors. Um, if alcohol is a concern, you know, we can talk about alcohol consumption at events. I reached out to Richmond and got a reply from Elena Yarmoski. Governor Northam's spokesperson defended his 10 person limit on social gatherings, saying events like weddings usually involve people who know each other and therefore are more likely to be in close contact with one another. Staying apart from friends, loved ones, and family who often travel from out of town for a celebratory event like a wedding goes against our instincts. She also said it's important to note gatherings at restaurants are limited to no more than 10 people. But Kelsey says there's a catch. Some are circumventing the system by booking several parties of 10 at the same restaurant and moving their events. We're kind of at the end of our rope and we're considering, um, you know, protesting in Richmond if that's what it takes. And if their voices fall on deaf ears still, she said, they may be forced into court. Kelsey's petition is on change.org. I put a link with it with this story on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.